for you. Bank holiday Monday, May the 31st, I think. Um, <clears throat> thought I'd grab a couple of hours. Probably a bit hot for detecting. Ground probably hard. So I thought I'd try my luck. And luckily, looks like it's been ploughed. Some of it. There's another field just over there. I don't know if you can see it behind the trees. That's also ploughed. And the farmer did say a couple of days ago. Um, he was ploughing another field over there where I found a gold half guinea, George the second. So I'll be heading over there and see if he's ploughed it. So just a quick bit of advice. It's a hot day, I recommend one of these. You can see it. It's called a camel back. So inside it it's a normal backpack and it also holds a little bladder with fluids. Uh, this one's two and a half litres, I've not filled it all the way up though, but um you can drink while you're walking, no stopping, it's perfect for days like this. So uh, let's talk in, let's crack on see what we can find. Okay so we've done a bit of the field, so I'll go on this bit, I'll probably do a bit of the grassland over there as well, but uh, hopefully we'll find something. The gold coin was just along here somewhere, so we'll crack on, I'll see you on the first hole. Well I always show first signal, Just a move tube. Hopefully it's not going to be one of them days. Right, I tried walking on this plough but uh, well, it's dead fluffy. I'm going to break my ankle so uh, yeah it's no good. I have to wait till it's flattened or whatever. But I'll crack on the rest of it. So see you on the next hole. Next decent hole. It's been about an hour. A couple of signals. Mainly coke and iron. That's why I've not filmed them. I've just got this one. Solid 57. Both ways piece of lead. Uh, you might have noticed I've got a new feature on my video, it's coming up around there. Um, it's a picture of a simplex control box and it'll be the ID or a number that does pop up on the screen just to show you what IDs it came up at. Not 100% accurate, but it's just a guide. Um, I thought it'd be quite cool. But uh, yeah, back to this. Uh, I think it's just, just lead. Um, you could argue, ooh, maybe Roman scroll, but I don't think it is. I'll open it up and have a look, but I'm pretty sure it's just walled up lead. So, right, let's crack on. It's strange, you can be in the middle of nowhere. It takes you 20 minutes to walk here from a nearest road. And you find a golf ball. I found a few of these on different fields in the middle of nowhere. Who the hell playing golf around here? Okay, so I've got a signal in here. It wasn't the best signal. I don't think it's anything special. But to keep me entertained, I'm going to dig it live. So here we go. So it's there somewhere. Let's have a little look. Soil's misleading. It's very looks very dry on the top, but it's so nice to dig underneath. in there somewhere. We're getting closer to the surface which is not a good sign. It's probably going to be rubbish. Okay, I see that in there somewhere. No. No. Oh nice. Oh that's alright. Bit of a spoon. Oh, that's better than I thought it was. Yeah, what a cool little live dig. That's never worked out. <laughs> Probably not very old. That's cool. I'm happy with that. All right. Nice. Best find of the day. Almost the only find of the day. Right. Back on for a bit more. We're getting a bit too hot now. Uh, if this if this ground was hard, I'd probably have given up by now. It's pretty soft, so we'll crack on. Okay, so I got out. That's pretty much the best thing I can take from today. I mean, I found a bit of a spoon and a bit of lead. The rest of it was pretty rubbish. Um, that's metal detecting. So this video is very short, so I'll probably this will probably be the first part of another video two videos in one but um 
unfortunately the uh, tyre was just too rough, a lot of air in it, very soft, but uh, you just wouldn't get the depth, so thanks for watching these couple of minutes and uh, hopefully you enjoy the next lot. Cheers. World, it's a brand new day. I pack my bags and I get no way. Afternoon. Some new permissions today. Got it in 2019, but obviously COVID kicked in, so uh, I've not been on it yet until today. So he's just showed me around. Uh, I'm not sure how many acres there are. There's quite a few fields, so about 12, 13 acres. Um, lots of lead mines around, so that screams Romans, hopefully. So we'll uh, have a look around and see what we can find. And I get to try out my new McGrafter spade. See you on the first hole. First decent signal. The rest will just be foil. Not sure what it is at first. I thought fancy shoe buckle, but I'm not so sure now because it looks like it might have been pinned or something. It looks like a label actually off a set of office drawers or something like that. Oh well. Still a find. Grafter review so far. Very light. Very good. <laughs> I was going to say flexible, but it's, it's not flexible, but because it's carbon you do, once it gets a bit stiff to dig you think, oh be careful, but uh, I think you'll be alright, but uh, you just, you just got to be careful, and uh, I mean, I think you know when to not push it. But uh, so far so good, so we'll keep digging with that. And I'll see you on the next hole. Second decent signal, just an old pen knife. Nothing great. But it's metal, it's not rubbish. It's an artifact, just not a very old one. Okay, keep going. Okay, next find, don't know what that is. But it was coming up at uh, jumping between 65 and 68. You'll see the uh, little symbol there. So I've put down 65, but it was 65 to 68. On these numbers here are just a guide. But, um, it's normally the strong I've normally put here the strongest number so if you're jumping 65 68 but 65 is more visible on the screen for longer then I'll put 65 but um yeah I don't know what that is just uh farm material all right crack on okay bit of lead as expected as there's some lead mines around here <clears throat> uh, it's coming in at a weird signal I was jumping between 16 29 30 odd 16 is normally coke, I don't normally think 16, but uh, if it's a good signal both ways, normally coke is 16 and a rubbish signal one way, a good signal the other way. But I'm um, just going to show, go by tone, not by number, because if I went by number, 16 flashed up, I wouldn't dig it, coke. That's lead, that could have easily been a nice lead artifact. It's not, so we'll crack on. See you on the next hole. Okay, next sign. Possible shoe buckle. Not sure on age. Oops, I'd like to say Georgian maybe? I don't know. That came up at, uh, well, you can see on the screen on the little symbol. 46, 47. Okay, on to the next. Oh, by the way, sorry, that was very deep. When right, this knife goes up to six inches, that's the blade. That's a Good seven inches, that. Good signal all the time. Right, on to the next. Okay, next find. Probably not that old, but it's quite cool how it's still got a lever around it. That was again quite deep, right down in the corner there. So, that's my glove. So, easily seven inches deep. Good signal all the way. Again, not very old, but uh, cool. Right. On to the next. Okay, so I'm going to round this up now. Um, so 
quick review on the grafter. I've only used it a little bit, um, not dug many holes, but uh, I like it very, very much, very light. I've not adjusted it, it's on the slowest setting. I've not had to adjust it at all, um, so it will go very high if you're very tall. If you're not tall, then it's perfect just as it is. Um, digging wise, very sharp, dug quite well. It's a bit scary when you uh, put a bit of leverage on it, you can feel it. It feels like it's flexing, I don't think it is flexing, um, it's just in your head. But, um, but to be fair, the ground is pretty hard. So uh, if you can handle hard ground, as hard as this, I mean, it's not massively hard, but nine times out of ten, you dig on softer ground than this. And um, managed it quite well. So I like it. I'm glad I got it. And it looks beautiful. So, anyway, not much to show. That buckle is probably the best one. I'll put some pictures up at the end. Um, I did notice it's got a little bit of detail on it, so uh, you'll see that on the picture. So, I hope it's Georgian. Um, most of the shoe buckles i found or seen the Georgian at least. So, uh, anyway, so yeah, new land. Um, but he stay, stayed in the one field today. I was only coming out to meet him and then I had, had my machine in the car, so I thought it'd be rude not to. But uh, I'll definitely be coming back here. I've um, got a few more fields to do. A lot of it's grass is too long, but he has said it'd be tired issue soon. So, hopefully, we'll find something on there. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next.